Carly, if you don't say hello soon, I'm going to think you're not happy to see me. Hello. What are you doing here? Well, I came to see you, of course. In times of grief, families pull together, don't they? Go away. Oh, Carly, we can't let past differences come between us now. Past differences? We've both lost Lawrence. We have to get through this together. You need to get the hell away from here before I call Bo. But this has been such a... a terrible tragedy. Especially for you being his wife. I don't know how you get through each day. You're hurting me. Am I? Oh, I'm so sorry. It must be this ring bracelet. Ring bracelet thingy. Is it poisoned? I am so happy to hear that you have not lost your sense of humor. <laughs> you know whose house this is, right? So you either leave on your own, or I'm going to have both throw you out. Well, he would if he were here, but he's not. Are you looking for the guard? Because he's on a break. Which is wonderful for us, because we have so much to say to each other. We'll remember Lawrence, and then we'll laugh, and we'll cry. And then we'll talk about how he died. My God, look at this decor. Reminds one of how little we pay our public servants. Wait a minute. Hope has money. This is intentional, isn't it? <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. Getting really, really old hasn't mellowed you in the least. Oh, grief makes you lash out. It is. It is my grief. And the fact that I can't stand you. Um, ha have we gotten off on the wrong foot? I think we should start over. I, I, I think I need to apologize to no, you. No, 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 no. What's a little premature burial amongst friends? Well, I just wanted to say I am so, so sorry for trying to have you killed. I could just shoot myself. Oh, please, let me. I said to myself, self, you need to get hold of that poor girl and make things right and get rid of all this animosity between us. I really wouldn't hold your breath on that one. Well, even so, I do know I'll find a way to bury the hatchet. With me holding it, right? So, you and Bo and Hope, menage a trois. Do you darn his socks together, plan his special meals? Well, not that this is any of your business, but Hope isn't living here at the moment. She's at Victor's. How convenient. Yeah. Oh, have you been in touch with Victor? Because I think he might like to bury the hatchet, too. Right in your forehead. <sighs> Ouch. What? I was just thinking that the neighbors might find you a bit of a homewrecker. Oh, no, no. I mean, again, it's none of your business, but I hope it already moved out by the time I got here. Really? The only reason I contacted Bo was because people were trying to kill me, thanks to you. I'm not here to rekindle some old flame. Vivian, you have to remember, I'm in mourning. My heart is now like a block of ice. Oh, I'm sure Bo has a blowtorch around here somewhere. All righty, time for you to go. You know, you're right. You do look peaked, exhausted, run down, worn out, sallow. Yeah. Let's go. And, you know, now that you've been exonerated, maybe you could go someplace and unwind and get the roses back in your cheeks. Oh, heavens no. I'm staying right here in Salem. You are? Yeah. That's wonderful, darling. Let's have lunch. Hey, look who's here. We got a guest. How the hell did you get in here? Well, I've always been able to open doors with my smile, Bo. I'm so sorry, I have to dash, but it's been such a long time, we have to find time to chat. <laughs> now, you stay strong, darling. Tomorrow is another day. What an unpleasant surprise. Gee, tell me about it. You think she's here to get a little revenge? No, no. A lot of it. Drink the swill. Talk about revenge. Uh, maybe this will help. Uh. 
Oh, there you are, darling. Thank you so much for distracting that guard. What did you do? Show him something <laughs> shiny and lure him away? You talk to her? Mm-hmm. It's going to be a little more difficult than I thought. She has managed to rewrap Bo Brady around her little finger. You're not worried she's going to leave town? No, no, I'm not. Why not? Because I don't think she's got what she's come for yet. <laughs> <laughs>